So you want to stream but you have a mid to low end CPU and just can't afford to take the performance hits using the X264 encoder, so you turn to your graphics card. Now in this video I want to compare both AMD's offering and Nvidia's and see which one's better, which one gives you more in-game performance or I suppose loses less performance and just general image quality as well. So let's jump into that. But first, if you haven't already, consider subscribing for more videos like this one every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Let's start with image quality. Now I was recording at 1080p using OBS and their high quality presets. In terms of the hardware, I was using an RX 5700 XT and its closest competitor, the RTX 2070. And I was also using an i5 10400F as my, my CPU here, as that's the sort of CPU that you might consider using your graphics card encoder instead of X264 for a better playing experience and potentially a better viewing experience too. Now, if you're interested in seeing how well the 10400F and the 3600X do while streaming using the X264 encoder, check out the video on the cards up above, and it'll also be linked at the end in the end cards as well if you want to check that out. Now, in terms of the footage, I'm going to put them up, you know, one after the other and side by side. They're going to be labeled A and B, and they're going to stay the same. Uh, so, you know, A will be one card and B will be the other across every clip that you see. I want you to let me know in the comments down below what you think of the two different clips, if you can tell which one's which, and of course, which one you think is which, whether A is AMD or Nvidia, and B is AMD or Nvidia. I'm gonna start with Battlefield 5 here. Now I should make it clear that because I had to play the games multiple times to get these recordings, while I tried to make sure that the actions in games were as identical as possible, they are two separate runs, so uh, while the actions are similar, they may not necessarily, you know, the player may not be in the exact same position, and uh, there are a number of different variations, so if there are any in-game effects you see, feel free to disregard that from your conclusions, but either way, both of these clips look pretty decent. Of course, because it's 1080p, you do see a little bit of blockiness. Of course, you're currently watching this on a 4K video and uh, recompressed to YouTube, so it's not the uh, the perfect scenario, but either way, they still look pretty impressive. Now, if you really punch in on these images, this is an 80 times zoom for each. You can see very much sort of aliasing around edges, especially on the debris from the explosion. I'll show a freeze frame for you here, but you can really see that the, the pieces of debris are very much just blocks, although that's mostly down to the, the fact that, you know, it's a 10 TV image that's blown up to not only 4K, but 80 times zoom. So I'm honestly not too worried about that. I don't see any major issues here between these two clips. Nothing personally that would identify one over the other. And generally, I'd be pretty happy to, to watch either of these as they have a pretty decent experience. Moving on to Call of Duty Modern Warfare, you can see that again, both of these clips are pretty decent. In fact, considering that this is the sort of quality that you would expect to be streaming, this is about as good as you can probably get, relatively speaking. It's sharp enough, at least for 1080p footage. And while it might struggle with more strenuous scenarios, I really can't see a massive difference between these two. In fact, even when you zoom in again 80 times, there really isn't much of a difference between them, at least that I can see anyway. Although again, feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. So have you seen enough to, to make your conclusions? If so, feel free to pause the video and write a comment if you fancy, but otherwise let's do the, the big reveal, which is that A was AMD and B was Nvidia. Now that's the footage, but what about your performance? I mean, it's what I check out when I do the X264 encoding and the, the streaming with that, see how much performance you lose. So let's take a look. So again, starting off with Battlefield 5, you can see that you really don't lose much performance here. You're looking at one FPS loss on the 5700 XT and I think two on the 2070, but that's well within margin of error and just goes to show you what having six cores and 12 threads and using the hardware encoder can do for you. You really don't notice much of a playing experience difference. You can check out the full results on my website that will be linked in the description down below if you want to see percentages and 1% lows. But the same can be said for COD Modern Warfare. Now there is technically a, a slightly bigger gap here on the AMD side, 155 FPS versus 147, but that's still well above the 140 Hz refresh rate of even you know high refresh rate monitors. And so I don't see a problem with 
with actually playing and streaming with this style and obviously with the 2070 you're only losing two fps average here so Again, a very playable experience and a pretty decent quality on the video side too. So you really don't lose much performance with either of these solutions as you would expect really. The only potential overhead is just that the CPU has to be running an extra program, OBS, and recording it to disk, at least in my case, or you know, actually sending out to stream. But realistically, that's not a massive workload. And so in the grand scheme of things, you really don't lose much. I think the conclusion here is that no matter what GPU you have or plan on getting, you're going to have a pretty decent experience for streaming or recording your gameplay should you fancy doing that. I honestly don't know if I could pick a winner between these two, at least in terms of image quality. And realistically, I don't think you guys could either. In fact, I asked you on Twitter and well, the majority of the answers were for AMD. I think that was mostly because the in-game effects looked a bit better in that shot. Uh, and so realistically, especially if you're just, you know, watching on Twitch, I don't think you would notice a difference. And so I'm pretty happy to recommend either and it means that you can rest assured no matter what GPU you pick up, you're going to have a good streaming experience. Now with that said, those are my thoughts and I would love to hear yours in the comments down below as well. What do you think of the two cards or the two, uh, the two encoders? Uh, is one of yours uh, preference over the other? Do let me know in those comments down below. Now if you want to check out either of the cards that I've used in this video, I'm going to leave links to them in the description down below. Those are Amazon affiliate links that will take you to your local Amazon store where you can see pricing when and when you watch this and all that good stuff. Otherwise, there's also a load of other links in the description down below. One that might be relevant is Streamlabs OBS, uh, also an affiliate link, but you can check it out and start streaming from there. Or you can check out stuff like merch or hoodies or t-shirts like this one or a load of other cool designs. Patreon if you want to get cool rewards and support me directly or uh, plenty of other affiliate links, including VPN options too. There's also a few videos over there you can check out, including, like I said, the 1400F versus 3600X streaming video. And that is pretty much it. If you have any questions, do feel free to leave those in the comments down below. But otherwise, we will see you all in the next video.